Is your old phone finally giving up on you? Do you find yourself constantly charging your phone because the battery won't last more than an hour and 9 minutes? Or maybe you damaged your phone by throwing it in rage after yet another Manchester United loss. No worry, as we are back with a new and updated buyer's guide for the best smartphones to get for this year. But need to budget lah, because you cannot always afford a flagship smartphone, times are tough. Even my favourite chicken rice shop has gone up in price 3 times in the last 2 days. As such, we'll be looking at the best smartphones to get for about 2000 and less ringgit. You'll probably recognize some entries from our 2000 ringgit smartphone guide for the first half of the year, but there's been a number of pretty decent smartphones since then too. Starting with Xiaomi 13T. Now I've actually reviewed this phone's bigger brother, the Xiaomi 13T Pro. But if your budget limits you to a maximum of 2 grand, the Xiaomi 13T is actually not bad. In fact, other than a slightly weaker processor and marginally slower charging speeds, the Xiaomi 13T is pretty much identical to the Xiaomi 13T Pro, making it quite a deal considering it's starting at just 1,799 ringgit. This means you're getting a decent 6.67 inch AMOLED display with a 2712x1220p resolution, a 144Hz refresh rate, a peak brightness of 2600 nits, and Gorilla Glass 5 over it for scratch resistance. In fact, the Xiaomi 13T comes with an IP68 dust and water resistance rating too, making it just a little tougher than some of the other entries on this list. Another key improvement Xiaomi has made with the 13T is that it now comes with a guaranteed minimum of 4 major Android OS upgrades and 5 years of security patches too making it last till Android 17 at least. Hardware-wise, it packs a solid upper mid-range MediaTek Dimensity 8200 Ultra with up to 12GB of RAM and 256GB of storage. However, it's in the camera department though that the 13 d shines, with a rear camera setup co-engineered with Leica to deliver a main 50MP shooter flanked by a 50MP telephoto and a 12MP ultrawide, together with all the fancy Leica features like photography styles and master LED portrait modes. There's a 20 megapixel front camera too for your selfies. Keeping the lights on meanwhile is a 5000 mAh battery with support for 67 watt fast charging and other features like stereo speakers and the IR blaster and an in-display fingerprint sensor. Next up on our list though is the Samsung Galaxy A54 5G, one of the two survivors from our best smartphones from under 2000 list for the first half of the year. Just like the Xiaomi 13T, the Galaxy A54 is notable for its potential longevity, with Samsung guaranteeing 4 major Android OS upgrades and 5 years of security patches on top of an IP67 rating. You'll find a 6.4 inch Full HD Plus Super AMOLED display, 3120Hz refresh rate, and a peak brightness of 1000 nits while under the hood is an Exynos 1380 with 8GB of RAM and 256GB of storage. On the back is a triple rear camera setup with a main 50MP shooter, flanked by a 12MP ultrawide and a 5MP macro sensor on top of a 32MP selfie camera. Other features here include stereo speakers and in-display fingerprint sensor and a 5000mAh battery with 25W fast charging. All of that could be yours for a retail price of 1899 ringgit. We now have another smartphone that I've actually used before too, which is the Honor 90. Starting at 1799 ringgit, it certainly has a more interesting design than our previous two, but its key feature here is actually its cameras. The Honor 90 packs a 200 megapixel main camera on the back, flanked by a 12 megapixel ultra wide and a 2 megapixel depth sensor, while the 50 megapixel front camera rounds things off. Powering the Honor 90 meanwhile is the Qualcomm Snapdragon 7 Gen 1 Accelerated Edition, a slightly higher clocked version of the mid-range chip, mated to 12GB of RAM and up to 512GB of storage. There's a 6.7 inch quad curved AMOLED display here too, pushing a 2664x1200p resolution along with 120Hz refresh rate, a peak brightness of 1600 nits and its signature 3840Hz PWM dimming that Honor says will reduce eye strain. On top of that, the Honor 90 comes with a 5000mAh battery and 66W fast charging and an in-display fingerprint sensor. If you want a different smartphone at this price point with a 200 megapixel camera though, then you're in luck. 
as there's also the Realme 11 Pro Plus 5G. It's also probably the only smartphone that you can get with 512 gigs of storage for under 2 grand, with the Realme 11 Pro Plus 5G priced at 1,999 ringgit. The Realme 11 Pro Plus 5G comes with a 6.7 inch curved AMOLED display, with a Full HD Plus resolution and a 120Hz refresh rate with a peak brightness of 950 nits too. On the back is a vegan leather lychee finish with a rather unique look having been designed by ex Gucci prints designer Matteo Minato but housed in that camera bump is a 200 megapixel main camera with an 8 megapixel ultra wide shooter, a 2 megapixel macro and a 32 megapixel selfie shooter on the front. Under the hood meanwhile is a MediaTek Dimensity 7050 system on chip with the 6 nanometer upper mid range processor mated to 12 gigs of RAM and 512 gigs of storage. A 5000 mAh battery with 100 watt fast charging keeps the lights on, and the stereo speakers and an in display fingerprint sensor too. <music> Lastly, we have the Poco F5 Pro, which we will first have to apologize for because it technically starts at 2099 ringgit but you can find it regularly on sale for sometimes as low as 1799 ringgit which is why we've included it on this list again it's also arguably the most powerful smartphone on our list thanks to it coming with a snapdragon 8 plus gen 1 processor which was last year's flagship mobile platform the poco f5 pro also comes with up to 12 gigs of ram and up to 512 gigs of storage though Unlike the 13T from before, Xiaomi had only mentioned a minimum of 2 Android OS upgrades and 3 years of security patches for the Poco F5 Pro. The Poco F5 Pro comes with a 6.67 inch AMOLED display too, pushing a 1440p resolution, a 120Hz refresh rate and a peak brightness of 1400 nits. There's a triple rear camera setup as well with a main 64 megapixel camera flanked by an 8 megapixel ultrawide, a 2 megapixel macro, and for selfies, you get a 16 megapixel front camera. Keeping the lights on is a 5160 milliamp hour battery with 67 watt fast charging and 30 watt wireless charging too. You'll also get stereo speakers, an IR blaster, and an in display fingerprint sensor. And yeah, that's about it for our wrap up of the best smartphones from this year to get if your budget maxes out at 2000 ringgit. Let us know what you think of our choices in the comments below. Maybe we've missed out a good choice, or perhaps you just want to tell us how sad you've been because of United's poor results. <sighs> this has been Raymond, signing out. <laughs>